Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Rowan Pelling has attempted to relate Meghan and Harry's estranged relationship with the royal family, telling the star-crossed lovers that such feuds never end well. Though not royal, Pelling has not spoken to her father-in-law for five years and said that gave her grounds to weigh in on the subject to someone in a similar position to Meghan Markle. In an article entitled Memo to Meghan, from a writer banished by her father-in-law for being unspeakingly vulgar, letting your husband take your side against the family never ends well. She urged the couple to open up back the Buckingham Palace. I can't help feeling Prince Harry would be happier if Meghan was able to put some of her hurt and mistrust of the royal institution aside to foster a better relationship with his family, particularly with William Pellingpen. Similarly, Harry would do well to encourage his wife to reconcile with her father before the opportunity is snatched away from her. There are rewards in putting family unit first. As an in-law, you can either encourage your other half to try better understand the family's member points of view, which is not the same thing as agreeing with them, or you can amplify their sense of outrage. As I fully appreciate, this is harder when your husband's family don't appear to endorse you enthusiastically as his life partner. Harry is present in London for Queen Elizabeth's funeral. But he's since bought a six-part Netflix expose alongside Meghan. Elizabeth's death in September meant Harry's father, Charles, is now king, as reported to planning the slim down of the royal household. Harry's relationship with his brother, William, has suffered through messy separation. After the pair were united in grief, aged 12 and 15, when their mother, Diana, died. These two men have suffered a terribly early bereavement that only the pair of them can fully comprehend. An estrangement can only deepen the wound, Pelling added. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think the rift between the Sussexes and royal family will ever heal? Write it down in the comment section and let me know. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.